This is Kirby. He has the ability to inhale people and then gain their abilities. But how exactly does he do this? And is there a way that we can do this too? This is the science of Kirby. There are many examples in nature of creatures being influenced by the things they eat. This can be as simple as eating junk food causing someone to put on weight, or eating lots of protein to allow someone to gain muscle mass. When flamingos are first born, they're grey, not pink. They in fact gain their pink colouring from eating lots of plankton and shrimp. That's because these contain a pigment called carotenoids. Salmon also get their pink colouring the same way. In fact, salmon which has been farmed is usually grey because their diet doesn't contain carotenoids, so the meat then has to be dyed pink before it can be sold. Blue-footed boobies are another species that eat these carotenoids and this then causes their feet to turn blue. Carotenoids get their name from carrots, which are chock full of the stuff. So if we eat enough carrots, it can actually turn our skin orange. This is known as carotenemia. However, when Kirby swallows his enemies, he doesn't just change colour, his entire genetic makeup is altered. So we're going to need to look a lot deeper. First off, we need to find out exactly where these powers come from. Well, any power or ability is usually due to a mutation in the DNA. So, basically the X-Men. DNA is made up of a long series of molecules that code for things like hair colour, disease, sex, the length of your little toe. So, like, a lot of things. And sometimes this DNA code can change, and that is what we call a mutation. Again, basically the X-Men. Your DNA is compiled into things called genes. Each gene is responsible for controlling one specific trait, and you inherit these genes from your parents. So when your parents say, it's in your genes, that's what they're talking about. So if a mutation causes some of your DNA and therefore one of your genes to change, it can result in you changing as a whole. So what essentially happens is when Kirby swallows someone, he's also stealing their DNA and mixing it with his own. And sometimes he's also stealing their umbrella or magic wand as well. So does anything in the real world actually do anything similar? Well, yes. For example, some bacteria are able to take the powers of other bacteria in a process called horizontal gene transfer. Here, two bacteria meet up, form a pilus, which is a little bridge linking them, then they transfer things called plasmids. Plasmids are small rings of DNA that can contain genes for things like being immune to antibiotics or making them better suited to their environment. So if it's really cold, they can receive a plasmid to turn them into ice kirby, or if they're in a very warm environment, they can receive a plasmid which will turn them into fire kirby. I mean, not exactly, but it's basically the same. Bacteria can also transfer these plasmid powers to fungi, plants, and animals. In humans though, we've only really found that horizontal gene transfer can only really give you the superpower of having cancer. So maybe not the best Kirby ability then. Viruses on the other hand are a lot better at changing our DNA. Viruses get into our body, break apart until just the DNA is left, then that DNA can sometimes combine with our own DNA. In fact, most of our DNA is just virus DNA that's been left there. Our DNA is mostly just a museum of long extinct viruses. So, these viruses can change our DNA and give us powers, right? Well, the power they usually give us is just the power to make more of the virus. So again, maybe not the best Kirby ability. But it's not just bacteria and viruses. Sponges, jellyfish, and arthropods have also been seen to transfer DNA between themselves. Transferring things like defensive abilities, like the ability to make acid and toxins. But in humans, the only times we really transfer DNA between each other is, well, you know. And any DNA that we ingest in our food is usually then destroyed by the acids and enzymes in our stomachs. Okay, so another theory. What if the people that Kirby swallows don't actually die when they're inside him? What if they're still alive in there? Maybe they're operating Kirby from the inside, a bit like in Adventure Time where Finn wears Jake like a costume. Well, this does indeed happen a lot in nature, and can be one of two things. It can be a parasitic relationship or a symbiotic relationship. So let's start with a symbiotic relationship. A symbiotic relationship is where another living creature is just chilling in or around your body, and both you and that thing get something out of a relationship. 
Probably the most famous symbiotic relationship is that of Venom and Eddie Brock. Their symbiotic relationship means that Venom has a body to live in, and Eddie gets all the superhuman abilities. Some other symbiotic relationships include funguses that allow plants to take nitrogen out of the air, or oxpeckers, which are small birds who eat the bugs off of bigger animals like rhinos. In fact, it's believed that at some point in our early history, some bacteria straight up just climbed into our cells and just started making energy for us, and we were like, cool, stay there, keep doing what you're doing. And that bacteria eventually became known as mitochondria. That's right, the powerhouse of the cell is just some dirty little bacteria that just won't leave. Mitochondria even have DNA of their very own floating around inside them. So maybe the enemies just want to be swallowed. Maybe they get somewhere warm to live and Kirby gets to use all their powers. I mean, it would make sense as they don't really put up much of a fight. On the other hand, the people that Kirby swallows could have a parasitic relationship with him. They might be using Kirby. They may be waiting for Kirby to eat something else and then take a little bit of nutrients from that food. So something like a tapeworm. This is different from a symbiotic relationship as both parties aren't getting something out of it. Only one thing, the parasite, is getting the advantage. Although, what if Kirby's the parasite? Keeping things alive inside him and forcing them to do his bidding, slowly sucking away at them, growing stronger and stronger until he claims us all. In Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Kirby has now resorted to simply swallowing things like a vending machine or a car, so Kirby doesn't actually gain their powers, they're just kind of in him. So yeah, that technically makes sense biologically. So in terms of living things, there isn't really an easy way for humans to swallow something and just kind of take its powers. Although, I mean, has anyone actually tested it before? Other than the occasional fly that I've choked on whilst running, I've, I've never actually swallowed a living creature whole. I've never done a Kirby. Hmm, I mean, it couldn't hurt. You can do this, Danny. Just don't think too hard about what it is you're doing. I'm doing this for you, Kirby. I'm walking backwards into the kitchen Do a little spin to go to the living room To watch some telly What are you doing there? I was just having a little drink, just a bit parched, you know? Is that Jebediah? Um, it, it is Jebediah, why, yes Why is he not in the tank? Why is he in the cup? Well, I've been playing that new Kirby in the Forgotten Land game, right? Yeah And, um, well, you know how Kirby, like, swallows his enemies and like yeah. gains their powers. Don't tell me what I think you're gonna say. Well well my parents never learnt like yeah. never taught me how to swim. I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say that. Do you think that eating the fish you're gonna get the powers of the fish to be able to swim, yeah? I'm thinking exactly that. Mental. That's, yeah. that's ridiculous. Why well, why would you do that? I never learned the backstroke. But the fish don't know any kind of strokes, do they? Just say generic don't drink the water. It's cheaper don't, don't, don't it's cheaper that's what don't drink the water. <laughs> When will he learn that things like this are stupid? No, get off! No, choke! Choke! I don't care! I don't care! You deserve this! Driving backwards into the kitchen! Do a little spin! Go into the living room to watch some telly! Uh, what are you doing? What do you mean? You're in his foot. Yeah? Why are you doing that? To get his powers, isn't it? Gonna sit on the sofa! If you found this video interesting or learnt something new, then please consider giving this video a like or leaving a comment. And if you really liked it, then there's always the subscribe button. There's some more videos you may want to watch floating around, so feel free to watch them. Well, I'm off to play some more Kirby and the Forgotten Land. See you next time.